just so. It's a field model. Oh, can you believe a quest or... Oh, the lead is completely aligned. Let me just remove the packaging. That's the one. Get it for a good cause, so it will be used to, uh, for outreach. Focus now to the end. Ten turn to the from the end will reach the inf infinity for the focus. Oh. Did you can just bring it out? It's so elegant. This is inside it is felt. The field model. Oh, that's a broadband version. Oh, clean, immaculate. Let me shine the flash inside it. Immaculate and clean. Flash shows any any problem if there was. I don't see any. twisty back on the uh, tube and it just stayed horizontal like that the writing of the request beautiful ok let's open this one and see what is inside here The front lens diaphragm. Should have been put in a cardboard, but anyway, I feel safer here. open all of this. So I'm going to open all of this one by one. Okay, the first item is this uh, uh, right angle correct image eyepiece, um, image corrector, erector. So good. Okay, this is the brand 
into an eyepiece. This is an eyepiece. This side is the side that you have to remove, eyesight, and that's the side that goes to the telescope. And this is the eye guard. I think there is a piece on top of this should be here, but I will find it. At the moment, this is here. That is, they are not a standard eyepieces. They just can be used only with the cluster. If you want a standard, you have to use a <coughs> adapter for that. This is Brandon 25 millimeter, 24 millimeter. Okay, this one. What is this one? Oh, that's for the eyepiece. That goes with the eyepiece. Hmm, looks like different adapters probably <coughs> can be used for photography. Okay, now I've uh, installed the dovetail, attached it with a screw that I had to the uh, finder viewer part or stand, whatever it is. Uh, I loosened the brake here so I can turn the tube. That's the really fascinating feature of this telescope. And uh, now I've tipped the barlow away, put the eyepiece on the way. That's a mirror which brings the eyepiece into the train. And uh, I'm not trying to look at those foots there. And let's see how it looks. Just before that, I just want to say it's a very cloudy day. It's completely dark. It's not really anywhere near the night, but it's really dark. So the image, I don't expect to be any bright, but we will see now. So that's the Questar Brandon 24 millimeter eyepiece. I've not attached any other thing to it. So let's go and see how it looks like. I'll turn off the flash. Brandon eyepiece has a 54 or 52 degrees. I'll focus on the fruit, so the leaves are not exactly on the focus, but the wind of course changes the positions. So So that was the view to the quest star. If you ask me which one I prefer, I have Celestron, Mac, C ninety I have the um, Mead ETX90 and I think that mechanically this is built better, it's smoother, it's easier to operate with it. Those ones are good but uh, for example the focuser in this one is really easy, it's far more better than anything that I've seen with those ones. And is uh, the ease of having actually a barlow here, that really is nice. Also. Uh, the finder really nice mechanically I think this is you cannot fault this uh, Brandon eyepiece is good but I uh, see some reflections and some um, I have to try to clean it first and see how it is uh, at the moment it just looks to me like a plus hole it's just not much different unless I test it with the uh, 100 moon or some constellations and 
planets. Now I can tell you, this brand reminds me of the uh, tall 25 millimeter process, the Russian tall. Uh, the Russian tall is actually better than this. <laughs> if we, um, unfortunately, it doesn't accept the uh, one and a quarter eyepieces, so I have to get a um, adapter for that. I may not get it even. Questor is expensive. Okay, I mean, just have a. This is a brief review, just unboxing and just showing you how it is, the view to it. And I will do a thorough review of this later and compare it with the other items, other wax items. Funny enough, uh, Ronald Reagan gave it as a gift one of these telescopes to Mikhail Gorbachev of the Russia, Soviet Union. This is a Soviet design, Maxotov, and the Americans made it and just, it's ridiculous in a way. They just want to say that we have marketed your idea. Oh, it was a way to tell that to uh, your friend, I don't know, it's stolen your idea and just be friend with us. That's strange. But anyway, that's the way of the world. When both these levels are out of the way, practically we are looking through the viewfinder, which is a very wide angle, and you can focus by turning this, and this is the view. This is the view to a viewfinder, practically like a very wide uh, puzzle, it feels very wide. Identification is probably lowest around 44 or 6. Yeah, magnification probably around 4 or 6. Nice actually, it's very bright. Although the environment is not that bright, it's dark or quite cloudy and dark. And that's the view through the viewfinder. Practically, I'm looking through here. Through this tiny mirror. So focusing only is done by the turning of this uh, eyepiece itself. And this mirror, the Maxitoff mirror, is out of the way. Curved mirror.